started Facing at a photo they've taken Space tree flying through the skies And battles happen everywhere Alright, so before I get started um, I have put together some items that uh, I normally carry uh, I actually So funny enough There was actually someone in the Facebook group That asked the question What was the need of a medium to a large size handbag like what are you guys putting in these bags that you need to have this size and I love I've always loved the bigger bags but then just like everything if you have a big bag you have more room to put more stuff in it right so I've started to go towards a smaller size little by little and for work I will say I carry a lot more than I should and I've tried with you know the small crossbody or just a smaller bag and I think I made a video on um, the mini Barlow uh, if you, I'll link it down below or I'll add a, a, a link um, talking about using a mini bag as your daily work kind of horse bag and was it practical for me for me personally, this is all my personal opinion, first and foremost. Uh, some of you can definitely go with the bare necessities and that is fantastic for you, awesome job. Uh, but I tend to carry a lot of stuff because um, I have shakes that I like to drink in the morning. I have my water bottles, I have pills, I have my notebook I like to carry whenever I remember to write anything in it. Uh, I do have a large wallet that I love to carry. I do have a small wallet, I hate carrying it. Uh, if I have my iPad on me, a book or what, there's always going to be a reason to have a bigger bag. And I think that was the answer someone was was finding is, is why do we need these bigger bags? Well, there's always a reason to have a big bag. There's always a reason to add more stuff in it. If you have shoulder or back issues, obviously being minimal and having a small bag is the best thing you can do for yourself. I personally have back issues and I'm trying to go that route. I'm trying to go with the smaller wallet and things like that. And I'll share maybe some tips on some small wallets, small wallets you guys can have um, to minimize some of these bulky, heavier wallets that you maybe don't even need. So I have in front of me, um, like I said, I do have my organizer and I have a large wallet, a small wallet, I have a notebook, I have two iPad sizes, a mini and the regular. I do not have that large pro. Uh, realistically, I don't think anyone would be putting that in a purse, maybe in some sort of messenger bag or something. I do have a pencil case, I have uh, a makeup case, a hard, a hard uh, sunglass case, and just regular loose sunglasses so that we can compare. Why do I have all this stuff? So a lot of you were asking, what is gonna fit in these tiny bags? Like, look at these bags, they're tiny. So we're gonna go through that. We're gonna find out what fits in them. Is it practical? Uh, and you know, is it something I can wear every day or is it something that maybe I can take to a party or a night out or weekend or whatever? So All right, everyone, so we are starting the what fits in my bag section of this very, very informative and detailed video. So let's go into our first bag. We're gonna do the medium. We're gonna drop down to a small, then a mini, then the new micro and the new nano. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here I have some of the more typical items that I would personally carry. And I did look at some of the comments from the Facebook groups as to what some of you like to carry. And I think I kind of got a little bit of everything. Uh, forgive me if I don't have all the items you guys normally carry, but I just wanted to kind of do a quick simulation of what it would look like. So this is a medium, this is a huge bag. So this should be absolutely no problem to fill. So I do have my purse organizer here. This is the one that I'm using, it's a, it's a nylon uh material very very uh squishy and soft it's not hard whatsoever if you uh i think i did a video on what fit in a mini bag that i had and i tried to use that organizer i'm going to put a link to that video up top and below on the description so let's start filling this bag and see exactly what we would normally put in here and see how much it fits and i'm pretty sure all of this will and then some so I'm gonna go over to my organizer first because I like to always put my organizer, kind of put everything in there. Obviously because this is a larger bag, we can use our large wallet. So we have 
a large wallet. This is my Kate Spade zip around wallet. I'm gonna put that in there. Uh, let's also put a small notebook. I carry this pouch. Um, I like to carry this pouch. I did mention this in a previous video. This is actually a credit card gift holder. I've had this, I don't know, for almost like two years maybe or more. And this is such a cute, it's a very thin bag. It carries maybe my little mirror and some fem feminine products and it's what I use it for. Okay, let's put, let's see what else we can put. We've got some lipsticks that we can obviously put in here. And okay, yes, let's put, so I do carry my little pill case and I know this is larger than some of them, but this is the one I've been using and I kind of needed to fit in all of my bags. I also carry with me this tiny, this mini um, Mac Fix Plus. Uh, I think this is in the, it's the Rose. Yeah, this is a the Rose Mini uh, Mac Fix Plus. So I carry this with me whenever I need to touch up my makeup or I just need to refresh and hydrate. So this fits perfectly there. And we're gonna leave it like that because I think everything else is probably gonna be too big. Actually, let's let's try it, why not? Okay, so this is a pencil and pen or you know supplies case that I have from Tool. And this fits perfectly in a large notebook I have, but I don't really carry it there anymore. I like to carry this loose and carry it with me whenever I have my um, my journal or my planner. I'm gonna just fit it right in there. These are the little straps that come with the organizer. And we're gonna put this right inside. All right, so we were able to put this inside. The organizer fit perfectly. Look at all the space on the side. We even moved it up to the front. Let's keep putting things inside here and see what else we can fit. So I do have my planner that I like to carry with me. This is quite thick. Um, sometimes I have to carry this on my hand because most bags won't, won't hold it. So that fits in there perfectly. If we go in here, you'll see there's still space on both sides. I also like to carry a makeup bag. I know a lot of you like to too. So let's see if we can put this one standing up. And yes, there is the makeup bag. All right, what else we have? Sunglass case. So this is what some of the sunglass cases you guys might carry. Um, it's the hard case. I know they have smaller ones and they have the ones that are just um, like the little pouch. But for the sake of what, how much I can fit in the bag, I chose to go with the larger case. And this can easily just sit on top of everything, just like that. Now, a lot of you also might carry water bottles. So I'm gonna move the organizer to the right as much as I can. And here is that famous 20 fluid ounce water bottle I reference in all of these videos. So we're going to squeeze that in there. And does it fit? Yes, ma'am. All right, so because this is a larger bag, we're also going to try to fit my iPad. From time to time, I do like to carry my iPad. This is the iPad Pro. This is actually no longer sold. Um, they, I think this is the nine and a half. I think it's the nine and a half inch or something like that. Um, they no longer make this one. I think now they make the 10. So it's gonna be somewhat the same size. I think this looks like the original iPad, you guys. Okay, like I don't think it's much bigger than that. So we're gonna put that in. I think I'm gonna try to squeeze it in the far back, if I can. Let's try to bring that notebook forward. Ooh, baby. Okay, there you go. She fell right in. So this is also a mini iPad for obvious reasons. I won't carry both of these on a given day, but let's see if it fits because we are trying to see how much we can fit in here. So in case you are someone that's really busy and needs to have multiple tablets and things like that, so this one is now standing up and it fits perfectly. Still has a lot of clearing. I normally, as I've mentioned before, I don't use the zipper pocket um, or the um, any of these pockets when I have my organizer, but today we're gonna put these set of glasses in the front pocket that's in here and that fits just fine. You can put your keys in there. Um, this does have the key keeper. 
So you do have a key keeper. Uh, I sometimes would use that, sometimes I don't. Put a comment down below if you guys uh, if you guys like that. I know a lot of uh, designers are starting to put that in their handbags, and it does help with knowing where your key is at all times, especially in a bag this size, you're gonna wanna see that. You're gonna wanna know where it is. And just because we're gonna add another wallet in there, just so you guys see how much I can fit. So we're gonna try to close this up and see. Oof, okay, that was a lot. And if you can imagine, this bag is very, very, very heavy. And if I can get a scale and put it on a scale, which I will try, we'll see how heavy this is exactly. Um, so this bag, I think it weighs 2.7 pounds alone. If I'm, uh, I'll reference, I'll correct it here in the video if I'm wrong, but I think I saw the description on the Dooney site that said that the medium weighs by itself, just because of how much leather is, is held in this bag, it's about two and a half to 2.7 pounds just in leather. So once you add a couple of pounds on a few iPads, your wallet and bottles and everything else that we just put in there, this bag has significant weight. And I really, really, really hope none of you are carrying this bag like this. Not only is it gonna possibly damage the bag, but this is probably very harmful to you to carry this much weight around. I would suggest to either figure out how to carry less or maybe carry multiple bags, maybe separate some of your tablets and notebooks in something smaller, um, just so that you can spread out the weight because if you decide to carry this, like I sometimes carry it, wow, can't even lift that. Okay, I said I have this uh, double strap here and all I, all I did was just click both of the, um, the clips on one side and I just kind of fed it through so that I can carry it as a shoulder bag and I just, I'm not even gonna try to do that because this, this bag is just way too heavy. So if I try to lift it. Okay, oh my God. Oof, okay, so, oh wow, that's heavy. So I could still bend the flap here to give it that smile, but that is just way too much stuff, ladies. Please don't carry this. All right, so obviously, medium bag carries a ton, like, a shit ton okay so let's get into the small and see how much of what's in here we can move into the so here we are with the small satchel again this is the samba i believe this is dusty blue um we're gonna try to see how much we can fit in here in compared to the medium now i'm pretty sure i can fit uh, almost everything i think i'm going to hit an issue with the makeup bag and the pink notebook or planner um, but I think everything else should be able to fit just right so let's let's see what we can do So this baby is packed up. Uh, this is the small satchel, completely packed. Can't fit anything in there. I mean, you can if you like to have your handbag not zipped. So here's the thing. Some of you don't like your bag zipped up, some of you do, but for the sake of what fits securely in a satchel, I have made sure that whatever I fit in there can, can and will zip up. Now, if you notice, you cannot fold this, so you're not gonna get that smile. So guess what? If you do carry it on the handle, that is as much space as you are going to have. Not very comfortable. This is about the only way you can carry it. Or if you do... All right, so this is more or less what I would carry if I had to carry my iPad. The regular iPad fits just fine. Obviously, the mini would fit way more comfortable. And if you can do that instead, if that's what you have, or if you have a reader or something like that, it would be much better for you to carry that than a big iPad. But it does fit. The notebook and the um, sunglass case and the water bottle uh, will not fit in this setup. So I have my organizer with my large wallet and all the other things you saw me put in there. A big makeup bag like that does fit. Now, I normally don't carry a makeup bag like that um, on a day-to-day -day unless I need to get ready on the go. So if I swap that out for a bottle, that would totally fit. 
and I can zip up the bag no problem and it will still have my smile. It will be still a little heavy because you do have the iPad and a lot of items and it's, you know, it's pretty packed. Um, but again, you take use of everything that comes in your organizer so you don't have to carry so many separate bags because that's just added on ounce after ounce that will make your bag heavier. But this bag with what I have fits perfectly, closes perfectly, and it does not feel fit. It does not fit overly heavy for me to. All right, so we're here with the pale blue mini Florentine satchel, completely empty, and we're gonna try to see how much of this fits in here. So here we have the mini Florentine satchel packed to the gills. Now there is an abundance of unnecessary stuff in here, but just to, again, example how much can actually fit, I do have two iPads. I have a mini and a pro iPad. I have a large wallet, small wallet. I have a uh, large wallet, small wallet. Um, I do have a small pouch. I have my pills and everything else you guys saw in there. I could not fit these things. I could not fit the makeup case, the sunglass case, and my notebook or my planner. Now this is not a full 11 by 14 planner. I think this is like an eight by eight by six or something maybe. I'm not sure. I'll give you guys the measurements. But these are the things that did not fit in this mini as much as I tried. So realistically, this is somewhat something I would carry. Um, I would have my uh, my glasses just in the pocket. Uh, my makeup, I would have it at, with the organizer. I would use the pockets and the zipper from the organizer to carry my makeup. Instead of carrying a planner, I may carry the mini iPad or just a little notebook. Uh, so I may just carry these things. Now, if you notice when I was loading up the bag, I had to take out the organizer to then put the iPad to then put the organizer. So in this case, the mini does come in and out. Um, you do have to kind of move some things around, but the mini does come in and out without having to take out the organizer. I will mention this is again, a nylon type of uh, very soft organizer. You can squish it, you can fold it. Some of these harder organizers are going to be kind of tough once we start getting into these smaller bags because you cannot, uh, you cannot bend it, fold it, or adjust the size. It becomes hard to move it into and out of the bag. So this is for the mini satchel. All right, everyone. So to the moment we've been waiting for. So here's the micro. Okay, the micro is, well, as small as I thought it would be. Not not a big opening, which is what I mentioned earlier. In comparison to the Mini, I feel like the Mini can still carry quite a lot considering its size. But, you know, this is still a very, very brand new bag. Uh, but, you know, there isn't much of an opening. However, we'll see. Let's see what we can fit in here. So here's everything that did not fit in the micro and we can almost bend it. I did just sneak in there that large sunglass case. I would definitely not carry a large sunglass case in this bag at all. But again, for sake of what exactly, how much can I stuff this bag? Um, it did fit and it does close. Now, if you just don't mind not carrying the bag the way it's meant to, then go ahead and put in your large case. However, I don't, rec I don't recommend you do. All right, so this is basically what I would carry. Um, I was surprised that you can still carry a large wallet, so I love that. Um, now, my opinion why I would rather carry a large wallet versus a small wallet is because what I carry in this wallet, I carry in the little one, 
and if you notice how packed and how compact that is i mean you can see how wide this wallet has now become which will take out space from here and although yes this is a long wallet um it's thin so i think it'll be more comfortable if you have a large wallet and that's what you'd like to wear you'll be happy to know that it fits just fine the notebook obviously does not fit i did have to uh replace my organizer now they do sell much smaller organizers and i would probably look into a smaller organizer if i'm going to be carrying this bag regularly because uh, an organizer to me is just going to keep the bag safe and protected from any kind of stains of pens or makeup or anything like that. So I would definitely look into that. Even if you want the harder, more sturdier ones or something like this, definitely get a small one because um, it will not fit comfortably here. You notice before I did have it in there. It was very, very tight. It was taking up all the space and I, I personally didn't like the way it felt. So what I have here is, again, the wallet. I do have my pills. I have all of my essentials that I personally need. And the sunglasses, I had to put it in the pocket. Something to note on the micro, there is only one, um, one pocket. And it's, it's just a slip pocket. You do not have two pockets. You only have a slip pocket and the zipper in the back. So you have a slip pocket here. So I have my glasses and just one lipstick. And then you have the zipper in the back, which, um, as you may know, I don't like to use. But, um, but yeah, I can still fit a good deal here. Um, I'm actually surprised you can still fit a good amount of stuff. Um, if you have a reader or an iPad mini, it's going to be, eh, it's not going to be fun taking it in it out, but it will definitely come, come out. Uh, if you don't have that, if you have a book instead, if it's a regular size book, not anything that's a hardcover, uh, that should be able to fit there too. Again, a reader will do fine. The larger iPad will definitely not fit. Water bottle, none of this stuff will fit. And I chose to just put the one lipstick, but if you want to have three or four, I think you could fit it in that pocket there. But again, because I don't have an organizer, I would stray away from having anything that would possibly stain my bag. Um, so no pens, no markers, nothing like that, unless I have a pouch for it that can fit. I did put in my little notebook in there because I like to have something to write. And I always have a pen uh, either in my car or in my office, so I have access to, to pens somewhere. But I might look into a small, thin pouch to carry um, pens that's not maybe not this big, maybe something a little smaller, uh, so I can have it in here. But this is basically how I would use the Micro. Oh my god, guys, we finally made it to the smallest bag. This is the Nano. And woof, man, this video is really, really long. It's probably taken me about two hours so far, actually closer to three hours to get in and out of all, all, the, all these bags um, and to see what actually fits in them. So let's see the inside. Okay, inside of the Nano, uh, as expected, it's obviously not that big, okay? So let's use our water bottle for reference. Yeah, it sticks out from both sides. So let's see what we can fit in this Nano. All right, if you hear any singing or music in the background, that's just my husband working out. Don't mind him. Um, so here's a quick little life hack for you ladies. Um, this is a men's credit card wallet or credit card holder. This is actually a coach one. They have even smaller ones in this. But this one I love because I still have my zipper. Some of them don't even have the zipper, so it makes them a little smaller uh, or thinner. It doesn't open up like this for the coins. You do have several pockets in here, okay, on the sides, and I really enjoy this wallet. So look at this wallet in comparison to the one in the bag, and that's probably what I would do. Let's take this packed wallet. I mean, look at the comparison. Look, you see that? And normally, I know this looks empty, but... Once I put all my cards and stuff, it's not going to be much thicker than this, I promise you. And then you have, you can put your license there. So do not be afraid of going into the men's department for things like this. This works perfect. I love it. Uh, I also have a men's, um, 
think it's like a crossbody handbag pouch. I don't know what they call it. And I, it's one of my favorite crossbody bags to carry. I think I made a video on that. Um, yeah, I believe I made a video or I talked about it in one of my um, Jeep diaries. So I'm going to put a link to that in here. So let's play, replace this and see how the bag fits now. Wow, look at that. Now you can put the notebook normal. Okay, so let's zoom in here real quick. So you have, okay, you have the wallet, the notebook, you have that little pouch, some lipstick, my sunglasses is in the pocket. By the way, this does have only one pocket, just like the micro. I have my pills in the bottom laying flat and I have my mist here and then your key, your key holder. That's it. I think that's pretty good for a small crossbody bag. I mean, considering how small this bag is, it fits a good amount of stuff. It fits everything I need on a regular basis, and that makes me happy. Um, as long as it fits everything I normally carry, uh, like if I'm going to go to the mall, a movie, a date night, uh, something like that, I think I'll be happy carrying this bag because I don't have to carry too much, but it still holds all of my essentials. Granted, it will not fit any of this stuff, okay? It will fit a, a wallet like this, but again, you're going to be a, a little tight if you don't carry anywhere near as much as I have here, then of course, you can definitely have your wallet in there. Um, I don't think you'll be able to carry a book because my mini uh, did not fit. And most books, uh, soft cover books, are probably about the size of the mini. Uh, so I don't think you'll be able to fit a book in there or a reader. Well, the new readers I've seen are just a little bit smaller, so you might get away with that. Um, which if you have, you can definitely try it out. But yeah, that's as much as I can fit in the Nano. All right, guys, so this is the end of the comparison size video. It was very lengthy. I hope this answered all of your questions. Um, I was actually very surprised with the results of what fit in the micro bag. The Nano is actually not as tiny as I thought. The Nano actually fits what most of my crossbody fit. So I was actually surprised and happy about that as well. So if you like crossbodies and that's your go-to for a lot of the times, you're gonna love the Nano. It fits just about everything that you would normally have in your smaller crossbody duny bags. The Micro, again, it's actually not as bad as I thought. However, if you're carrying planners and you're carrying notebooks, then the mini or the small will be the better bag for you. And if you're carrying um, bigger things like large iPads, uh, big makeup cases, sun cases, things like that, then the small or the uh, medium would be the best way to go for you. And that's definitely um, something that we were able to prove here. And I hope I answered, like I said, all of the questions and concerns you guys might have had about these bags. I can't wait to see what you guys um, are carrying. Comment below if you already bought one of these. If, or if you haven't, let me know which is your favorite satchel. Uh, I think right now there's a sale going on. And um, so always check out for those. There's always sales. And you can always go to either the I Love Dooney uh, site or the Dooney.com site and check out what they have going on. Obviously, you have your third-party marketplaces that you can check out as well. If you didn't know, also, I Love Dooney sells on eBay. Um, so you can, all, if you like shopping at eBay, you can see their, um, the bags that they have available there. And sometimes they won't be on their site. They will only be on eBay. So check out for that. Um, thank you guys so much for sticking with me on this really, really long, informative and detailed video. Thank you so much for sticking with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.